Okay. Our my opponents here brought up the process of violating the law. They're saying that in in the case of Oregon, she violated the law, and that assisted suicide is not liked by most people in Oregon. Well, that that was brought up in Oregon, in fact. Um, in 1997, a proposition was put in place. Um, the citizens of Oregon rejected the ballot ended up rejecting a ballot measure to overturn Oregon's law allowing physician-assisted suicide by a vote of 60% to 40. So 60% of the people of Oregon were for it. Oh, that's overwhelming. It's, it's not close. Um, then he goes on to bring up religion. Oh, hold on. Before we go on to religion. Before we go on. Okay. What? Let's, yeah, we'll go on to religion here. Religion. Um, he brings up the, the part here about um, the Bible, how religion takes place in the moral and the moral consequences and everything. Well, according to the U.S. Constitution, there's a separation of church and state um, between the government and the people. So, if they're a hospital, there's a separation of church and state. Their job is to basically diagnose and treat. Their job is not to make moral decisions on that. Um, then on the hospital, um, well, we the hospital does does state that they have a moral responsibility to um, keep them alive. Well. What's the do not resuscitate order, the DNR? Well, the DNR, the DNR, the DNR are do not resuscitate order. The DNR is, is an order by a patient's file, meaning the doctor is not required to resuscitate a patient if their heart stops and is designed to prevent unnecessary suffering. Well, their Hippocratic, <coughs> Hippocratic Oath states they have a moral responsibility to keep the patient alive and you, with the DNR they're not, then what's the difference between euthanasia? Then they bring up the cost factor. Um, saving the government could become a consideration. Drugs for assistance suicide cost about $35 to $45, making them a far less expensive than providing medical care. This would this could fill the void cutback for treatment and care with the treatment of death. Well, she says it's gonna cost it's gonna cause people to keep going convince people to go and go for euthanasia. Doctors are gonna push it to save money and open more beds. Well a direct act court According to um, Hamming, Heal, and Euthanasia, um, a direct act of killing done, done at the direct request of a person being killed. That's the voluntary, voluntary choice they have. They have the option to choose whether to do it or not. It's not the, doc it's not the doctor's final decision. They, they have the choice. So how is, how is the cost factor being a problem when they have the right to choose whether or not they want to do it or not. And that's it.